Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I got a request recently to do some altered vases. Well, I don't have very many vases, but I do have this one. <laughs> so, I've printed out this um, 4th of July image from the Graphics Fairy. And I'll put the link down below. Sorry, my nose is running. <laughs> I've printed it on water release decal and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit it's very neat stuff I've got the Renaissance one molds from Prima I've got a little bit of paper clay this is just I believe uh, I'm not sure what brand it is so I'm going to gesso the part where the water release decal goes and then I'm going to, I'm going to see from there. Alright, so I just got these um, really neat sponges from scrapbook.com and I think for four of them it was like... <laughs> It was literally less than five bucks, less than six bucks. It was really cheap. They were like a dollar something a piece. So I'm gonna use one of these to put the gesso on. And then I'll be back. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get myself together and then I'll be back. Okay, one of the things I should have said at first before I even cut the image out is the paper needs a couple of coats of some acrylic sealer so i'm just using the krylon color master clear and it'll, it'll need like three coats all right so that will give it a sort of shiny glossy appearance Still waiting on this to dry. It will need a little sanding. But one of the things I wanted to share with you is this was the. Sorry. This was the first one that I did. Now, I, I was inspired or whatever you want to call it. But I've been watching a bunch of Russian tutorials. So, I don't even know who to accredit it to. Because I don't speak Russian. So, thank you to all the Russian artists out there that I've been watching. Um, I have really gotten some great information from watching y'all. Um, now most of them don't do the water slide transfers, but um, it really did appear to be the easy, well I won't say easy, but the easier way to go about it without having to use the decoupage glue and everything like that and decoupage it down so um, once again I'm just gonna finish letting this dry and then I will give it a quick sand with my foam sanding block and then I'll be at okay now I've coated it in the acrylic sealer the spray sealer let it dry you can see see maybe how glossy it is and now I'm gonna go put it in the water for just 30 seconds or so and I'll be back okay now I'm gonna take a little bit of paper clay this is the um, creative paper clay so I'm gonna fill up this one then I'm not sure <laughs> Been like a little dog hair with everything.
And I'm kind of new to filling up these things with paper clay, but the point is not to overfill them too much. Now, because this one has kind of cut off ends, I can either use these little daisy circles right here, or I could use something like these little cherubs right here. I think for this case, I'm just going to use the daisies. Whoops. Okay, I'll need to make another daisy. I'll need to open my clay again. I'm going to grab my 3D matte gel. Because it's what I got at hand. Trying not to mash the detail.
Okay, then I'll make another daisy and put on the other side. So I'll be back. Okay, now I have drawn with a little bit of marker just the shape that I'm trying to go for. And you can see how I've made a filthy mess of the bottle. Of the jar, of the vase, sorry. Now, I've got some brown paper, which was just a paper sack. <clears throat> and I've kind of roughly accordion pleated it a little bit. I've got my spray bottle of water. And then I've got some, it's called DecoArt Americana Satins. It's a satin varnish. It's, it's, it's my Mod Podge, let me say. It's just a cheap product that I got on sale when it was really cheap so um, watered down school glue would work uh, like I said mod pods would work you just want it thin enough um, like a pourable thickness something like that And you want to be able to open it. <laughs> that is always my trouble. So, I just bang it on the corner of the desk. And that usually works. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is squirt. <laughs> I'm going to squirt it. I'm going to squirt the brown paper with some water. I don't really want to, I don't really want to dunk it or anything. I don't want that much water on it. like that what I really want I want it to drape kind of like fabric That's why normally I would just use paper towel or something like that, but um, the paper towel would be a little too flimsy, and I really don't want to lay this down on the front. Okay, here where, where it's in the middle, where I've come together with the lines, I want it to kind of gather right there. So really and truly what I want I want to kind of do I want to twist it? yeah I think that's what I want I want to kind of twist it so trying to find the right paintbrush in a sea of paintbrushes. <laughs> so, first thing I'm going to do is put a little glue. No, I don't care that it goes outside the lines or anything like that. Whoa. Evidently, I don't care if I drip it all over the desk. <laughs> See, that's what I mean about it being pourable. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, this is going to be... Um, I 
it's not gonna fit in in <laughs> where I've put the glue lines, but that really doesn't matter. Okay, sorry, my battery died. So, the first thing I want to do... Sorry, I'm all over the place. I did stop as soon as the warning buzzer beat. Because I did want to show you all of it. Okay, I want to cut it. Sorry, it's a difficult scut where it's wet. Okay, something like that. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I've tried to make sure that it will fan out the way I want. Oh, come on now. Okay, there we go, something like that. Now I'm just going to glue it down the rest of the way. I'm not necessarily trying to cover up the white area or anything like that. I just want it to reach that far. I can tell on this side though. But it's not exactly the way I want it. There we go. Just wanted that rounded bit to go away. <laughs> okay. So back to the glue. I've just had it soaking in water. So it didn't dry out. Again, dripping all over the desk. Okay. 
Oh, that is so good. Just add just a bit of glue to the surface. I'm just going to hold it down for a minute. It's just a baby wipe, a, a craft wipe, because <laughs> that's all I use them for. Lord knows I haven't had a baby in 30 years. Not to give my son's age away, but uh, sorry baby. Okay. That's one side done. Uh, I had the feeling I'd just be better off just letting it dry. So, I'll be back. Okay, now I've added to the supply list a little bit. This is the Stars and Moon mold. And I've already molded some of the smaller not including the mechanical top stars but some of the smaller stars but i'm going to do a couple of these larger ones so i've got the creative paper clay not exactly sure where I got it from. It may have came from Amazon, but I'm not sure. Sorry, but I do try to reseal it every time. Because I don't want to try it. I've already had it several months, so. It does help if you put a baby wipe or a damp paper towel in there. But uh, it can go moldy, so be sure to put it outside of the paper clay wrapper. Okay, just work this a little bit. It's really already super soft. Okay. Do this one first.
There's the Texas Star. Sorry, that's just what I call it. Okay, I'm going to do one, maybe two more. I just really like to use um, all the paper clay that I get out. <laughs> Don't like to put it back up. Okay, but in this case, I'm just going to wrap it up in the baby wipe, and I'll use it again in just a little bit. Okay, now, I'm going to use the 3D matte gel. Sorry y'all get to hear all this lovely background noise today. I guess I'm just going to have to attempt to fill up the fish tank on my own. Because <laughs> Hubby just does not seem to be into it lately. Okay, I'm going to start. start by putting my armrest <laughs> under the front. Okay. Now, I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with this flat top star. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt <laughs> to put this all the way to the edge because I want the points to be stuck down. Okay. 
Okay. I've got some Santa Red in the Americana line that I've just put out on my glass. I'm going to start with just the tiniest bit. Just gonna hit the stones. And, and really, it doesn't have to be that precise because we're gonna. We're going to fill in the rest of the top border with some black. This is really difficult to do and try to stay on camera. Okay. Now I'm going to, in my mind, divide this up into red, white, and blue on both sides and I'm gonna attempt. <laughs> Not to paint the stars. Of course, I can go back over them. And you may feel better like trying to tape this off or something but really I kind of want it to have that kind of not necessarily hand painted but And this may take several coats. Okay. You kind of get the hint. Um, may stop. out there with the red Oop, some of my gesso is not dry okay I'll be back in a minute once it's dry Okay, now the red is done. I've overgone in a couple of places, but that's correctable. Okay. I'm 
of the lot, obviously, is going to be in the middle. So on the bottom, I've got this Apple Barrel Liberty Blue. And I don't know why, I don't have a lot of Deco Art Americana in blue. I've got it in blue. Blue, blue. <laughs> but, that's it. So, I was attempting to kind of match the blue on the front. On the flag. So, once this is dry a little bit more, I'll come back and do the blue. Okay? Okay. Now, if the color doesn't match exactly, It really is okay because we're going to antique it when we're done. Same, we're going to antique it like y'all are in here painting with me. <laughs> And yes, while that would be an absolute blast, please understand, I live in the most backwards <laughs> hillbilly county, probably in the state of Texas, or as I call it, the black hole of the universe. The one thing about Texas, everything else in the country trickles downhill. So while y'all are enjoying the newest, latest, whatever, we're still waiting on it to get here most of the time. Wow, that doesn't seem like much, does it, compared to the red? <laughs> okay, that ought to be red. Okay, so I'm just going to go on and finish the blue, and then I'll be back. Okay, now I've got the Americana Snow White, which is the Titanium White.
Okay. Just one of the hazards when your nail is too long on the other side. <laughs> okay, just one of the areas that I needed to correct. Just another speck I'll have to correct, which really and truly is no big deal. Any time on a mixed media piece like this, you'll go back and forth several times. Okay, so... I'll just continue on with this until I get done. Okay. I've got this art alternative gesso. Any black gesso would work. I like this because it's not um, a thick gesso. So it goes on rather easily. And it's not quite so difficult to fill in all of the uh, holidays, so to speak, all of the white spots. So I'm going to, I've got a rather fine paintbrush, which will be a lot finer once it gets paint on it. Um, I'm going to paint the stars carefully and around the mm -hmm -hmm detail at the top and the <laughs> modeling paste at the bottom so I've already begun a little bit of painting sorry That's one of the reasons why I went around the detail <gasps> off camera. Just because I had to um, pull it up closer to myself to do it now. <laughs> so, I'm going to open the black gesso and make a little start. Okay, I thought I would just come by and show you painting one of the stars. Again, I'm not I'm not worried about getting it on the glass because I can get that off pretty easy.
Sorry if you can hear the washing machine going. Shoot. <laughs> Nothing like doing laundry. While trying to catch up the dishes. While trying to adjust those stars. What do they call that? Multitasking? That's what I'm doing. I'm not sure if that's really what multitasking is, but... Now, you could possibly be asking right now why I didn't paint the stars ahead of time. But if you'll remember, when I placed the stars, I had to place them while they were wet. So, that was the explanation because boy I would have rather painted them while they were <laughs> before I stuck them down but that just wouldn't have worked so I'm just gonna continue on eventually <laughs> I'll finish Okay, I've just got some Americana bittersweet chocolate, some of the Americana varnish, um, really just about half and half, and some water to really thin it down to a wash. And I've got a couple of uh, craft blocks, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so, hmm. remember, hmm. okay, sorry about that, my camera caught off for some reason, as it often does. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry, and then I'll be back. Okay, now it's dry, and I've just got my white gesso back out, and I'm going to dry brush. Just got a really scruffy brush. And I'm just going to dry brush. Sorry, <laughs> once again. Something like that. Now, I'm not going to worry 
about going over the stone. Or the middle. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do this to all the embellishments. The stars may get a little more than some of the other areas. Now, you could also use the, the dopper. It works just as well. It may even work better to get some of these little bit of raised now you'll think you don't need to go over the white but if you've got stars in the background you may Okay, so I am just going to carry on. Until I've got everything. Oop. Covered with the white. So that time... I've got a little more on my brush than what I intended. Okay, now this will only be the first coat. Then I'm going to go back over everything with um, some gold. Just hold on. We're almost there. OK. 
Okay. I'll finish the other half and I'll be back. This time I've got the vintage brass in the extreme sheen deco art. It really doesn't matter what gold you use. I just chose a vintage or antique um, look of kind of gold. And this time I am going to use the dauber. And I'm going to daub it off on a bit of Kleenex. <laughs> because that's what I had. Okay. Now, at first, you won't see much happening. But the more you dab, the more you'll get on there. And this time I'm just trying to stay on the stars. Well, on the raised embellishments. Now, on some of these little, what I call Texas stars, five-pointed stars, some of them are just so small that you're not really going to get much. Sorry, I really am trying not to shake the camera around so much. Alright, buddy, you're just going to have to wait a minute. Yeah, that's a good boy. Okay, now, just going to concentrate 
on the embellishment. Okay, then I will probably put another coat of the varnish on. And it will be, after I clean the fingerprints off, <laughs> it will be good. So, I uh, will be right back. One of the things I love the most about these daubers that's the same one I used. They come so clean. I absolutely love them. So if you're looking for a giant dauber, <laughs> these are them. They don't leave a sharp edge because of the rounded surface. So they're really neat. I was really impressed. So, once again, I'm just going to put a coat of the clear on here. Um, normally, I would just use a spray. But because I didn't cover the whole glass, I don't want spray on the glass. So, I'm going to use one of those strands of string LEDs and possibly put a little colored tissue paper in. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay. So, I'll be back. Okay, sorry, I went to handheld for a second. It's now finished. Just put some packing material in the background. There it is with the lights on. Sorry about the placement of the lights. But there it is. Really fun, really long project. I so apologize. But hopefully you got something out of it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've got an Etsy shop, a blog, a Pinterest, and Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. <laughs> You'll find all the links below. Plus, I'll try to remember to put the, pro the products I used. If you hit subscribe, Hit the little bell symbol beside it and you'll get notifications. Bye for now.